Welcome to the channel Tutorial. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the two probe method. So let's see what is two probe method. It is a simple method which is used to find or which is used to measure the resistivity of a material. Now let's let's see what is the meaning of resistivity. It is simply denoted by the symbol this and it is pronounced as rho, R H O. It is pronounced as rho. And what is resistivity? It is the resistance offered it is what it is a resistance offered by a wire of unit length and unit cross section area of unit length and unit cross section area so this is resistivity and this method it is used to measure the resistivity of a material now there are some disadvantages of this method this method is not commonly used method. It is a simple method, but it is not a commonly used method because there are some disadvantages of this matter of this method. So the first disadvantage is it is not used for low resistivity measurement. Low resistivity measurement means that the material which has the low resistivity this method is not applicable on that type of material whose resistivity is very low and also this method is also not used for the material which has the random shape random shape means they have any orbital structure and fixed shape like rectangle or square or circle these are fixed shape but, but this is a random shape so this method is not ap applicable on the material which has the random shape and now the third disadvantage is when we heat the leads during soldering means during soldering or when we do the soldering with the metal when we heat the leads it may inject impurities in material like suppose this is a uh, rectangle shape material and if we heat up leads suppose we have to connect and to connect this rod from this material we have to soldering and these joints then it may inject impurities in material because we are adding something extra to this material which may inject impurities and therefore this affect the intrinsic electrical resistivity so during uh, due to this disoldering the value of resistivity may change so this method is not applicable or this method is not generally used so to overcome these all the problems a new method is proposed and that's a, that is known as the four probe method to overcome this disadvantage or these problems a new method is proposed and which is named as four probe method so guys guys of that's all for this topic two probe method i hope you have understood this topic and in next video we will discuss about the four probe method so guys thanks for watching the video and don't forget to like share and subscribe